Hi everyone, this is Pre-Algebra, Lesson 1-1, Relate Integers and Their Opposites. In this lesson, we'll be able to relate integers, their opposites, and their absolute values. Let's look at solve and discuss it. When preparing for a rocket launch, the Mission Control Center uses the phrase T minus before a liftoff. T minus 3, T minus 2, T minus 1. After the rocket has launched, T plus is used while the rocket is in flight. T plus 1, T plus 2, T plus 3. When does the rocket launch? What could T represent? So when, he, when the rocket is being launched, there is a countdown. And then after the rocket has launched, um, there, there's also a counting. T plus 1, T plus 2, T plus 3. So when do you think, when do you think the rocket is launched at exactly 0? Right? T minus 0 and T plus 0, so T. T is when the rocket is launched. What could T represent? represent? T could represent multiple things. But in this sense, you can say it represents time or it represents takeoff. It represents to go. <laughs> yeah, there could be multiple answers. But it most makes sense for the takeoff. The countdown sounds like reading a number line from left to right until you get to zero when the rocket launches. Then you are counting the seconds after the rocket launch as t plus 1 and so on. t could represent takeoff, time, or today. <laughs> Okay. Focus on math practices. How are t minus 4 and t plus 4 related? How are they related? Well, they both have t and 4, but minus and plus are the different wordings, right? So how are they related in terms of t? You know, t minus 4 is 4 units away from t t plus 4 is also 4 units away from t, so they're both 4 units away from t, 4 counts away, right? So their distance from t is the same. So t minus 4, let's write this down, means 4 seconds before liftoff. t plus 4 means 4 seconds after liftoff. They both represent the same amount of time from liftoff, but before and after it happens. Does that make sense? Okay, let's look at our first example. So throughout this lesson, think about how the, uh, how the integers, their opposites, are related. Example 1. Combine opposite quantities to make zero. Alexis was shopping on the ground floor of the mall when she realized she had left her phone in her car. She walks down six floors to her car in the underground parking garage. How far will Alexis walk to get back to the ground floor? Use integers to explain. So this is the ground floor of the mall. Alexis walks down six floors to her car. So in order to walk back to the ground floor, how many floors does she have to go? Does she have to go? 
So you can represent the integers on a number line. The integer 0 here represents the location of the ground floor. So 0 is the ground floor. Negative 6 represents Elixir's position after she walks to her car. And positive 6, or the absolute value of 6, is the distance she will walk up to the ground floor. So negative 6 and 6 are opposites. They're called the opposites. When they ha have the same distance to 0, but they're just different signs, opposite quantities combine to make 0, and they're called opposites opposites. Okay, so Alexis will walk the same distance, six floors, in the opposite direction to get back to the ground floor. So let's look at try it question. Sevier climbs nine feet up into an apple tree. What integer represents the direction and how far he will climb to get back down to the ground? What integer? And what does the integer zero represent in this situation? See if you can fill in the blanks by yourself. Come back when you're ready for answer. He climbs up nine feet. So what integer represents his climb down? He has to go down nine, so it's going to be negative nine. The in integer zero here will represent the ground location. Okay. How are the absolute values of opposite integers related? So opposite integers, again, what are opposite integers? So opposite integers are like 4 and negative 4, 3 and negative 3, 6 and negative 6. What else? Any number, that any positive number to that negative number are opposites. Okay, how are they related with the absolute values? The absolute value always makes the number positive because it's talking about the zero, or it's talking about the distance, and distance is always positive. So the opposite values of the opposite integers are always equal. The absolute values of any number represents its distance from zero. So the absolute values of opposite integers are equal. Because whether positive or negative, the directions might be different, but the distance from zero would be the same. Okay, let's look at example two. Combine opposite quantities. Samuel has $20 in his savings account before he makes a deposit of $160. After two weeks, he withdraws $160. How does Samuel's savings account balance change? So, first, he starts with 20. He makes a deposit. De making a deposit means you add money to your bank account. And making a withdrawal, when he withdraws, you're subtracting your bank account. You're taking money out. So from 20, he adds 160. And after two weeks, he withdraws 160 again. So he's going to be back to 20. So the initial amount is 20. And the... Um, and the, and the change should be zero because at the end, he will, all, he will also get a $20. So let's look at try it. The temperature was 75 degrees. At noon, the temperature increased 7 degrees. By evening, the temperature decreased by 7 degrees. How did the temperature change? So it starts at 75 degrees. It goes up 7, and it comes down 7 again. How did it change? What is the change? Mm -hmm. So it's the same as example 2 here. The change 
is that it didn't change at all. If it goes up seven and comes down seven again, then it's back to normal, back to where it started, 75 degrees. So the temperature is back to 75 degrees. Seventy five degrees. Um, because seven and negative seven are opposites, and negative seven. Wait, 7 and negative 7 are opposites, and combine to make 0. Okay? Example 3. Represent change using integers. One winter morning, the temperature was negative 2 degrees Celsius. By 11 a.m., the temperature had dec decreased by 3 degrees. And at 4 p.m., the temperature reached 0 degrees. What integer represents the temperature change from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m.? So starting from negative 2, it decreases by 3, and then it increases from here to 0. So from the original negative 2 to 0, what is the temperature change? It goes up 2. 2 degrees, right? But what integer represents the temperature change from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m.? So the change we had is not just counting the final change. We're looking at the total change of temperature. So it decreased 3, and that is 3 change three degrees of change and then it increased five degrees so that's another five degrees worth of change so you're going to add three plus five wait no i'm so sorry from 11 to 4 it only this is 11 a.m it starts from negative five and then to 4, it increases 5 degrees. So from 11 to 4, it just increases 5. So the integer positive 5 represents the temperature change from 11 to 4. But if we were to say from morning to 11 a.m., the change is the integer, we would say the integer 3 represents the temperature change. But from, from morning to 4 p.m., the integer 7 represents the temperature change. Okay? So it depends what intervals we're using. Let's look at try a question. Shanika has $45 in her wallet. She spends $4 on snacks and $8 on a movie ticket. What integer represents the change in the amount of money in Shanika's wallet? How much money does she have left? So let's represent an, the, the change as an integer here. See if you can solve this by yourself and come back when you're ready for answers. Okay, are you ready? So from 45, she spends four and eight on a movie, movie ticket. So what integer represents the change in the, in the amount of money in Shanika's wallet total? She spends $4 and $8. So if you add them together, you would get a total change. And she used it. It means you're subtracting the amount, right? So the integer negative 12 represents 
the change in the amount of money in Shini, Shinika's wallet. How much money does she have left? So from 45, if you subtract 45 minus 12 is equal to 33. Shanika has $33 left in her wallet. Okay. All right, so let's summarize our lesson. An integer n and its opposite negative n combine to make zero. They're called opposites. So for example, positive four and negative four are opposites. And together, if they're combined, if they're added together, they, be, they make a zero. All right, that was lesson 1-1, relate integers and their opposites. If you have any other questions, please feel free to ask Mrs. King in class. We'll continue with the next lesson in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.